Okay, so basically what we have here is a, um, a Boss ATV Tube 20 um, stereo connector, iPod end, whatever, uh, that we're going to be making repair to because the original one uh, got burned on the exhaust and melted and it shorted it out. Um, so this is just a quick overview of what it looked like before and after and then um, a couple of things I did along the way just to kind of give you a quick, uh, quick tutorial. Okay, these are the contents of the package when you get them. Um, in the upper upper corner there, there's the main end. Um, the ground has two uh, ear tabs with a big hole going through. That's the main center. That's where your two copper uh, grounds are going to go, tie in together. Um, then there's two little ear tabs, uh, that very small, that come off of either side. And that's where your insulated wires are going to go. Um, you're going to make a solder to them and then that clear tube sleeve is what you're going to slip up over everything after you've soldered and that's going to keep it from touching the uh, tube case um, from grounding it out or anything like that. Okay on this particular um, Boss ATV uh, stereo radio tube has two black uh, wires that go um, and if you strip them back you'll see two insulated uh, wires. In this case, it was a red wire and a white wire, and then there'll be two. Each of them will have a bunch of little copper stranded wires that run all around the outside of it. Um, take all those and, and, and twist all the copper wires together, um, and then strip back a little, about a quarter of an inch or so of the white wire, and then strip back a qu quarter inch or so of the red wire, and that's going to be your left and your right speakers. Um, and then the copper is going to be your ground. So uh, then what you're going to want to do is um, just take a little bit of sandpaper uh, and go over that copper wires just a little bit with some very fine sandpaper, just a little bit, just to kind of make sure it's got a, you've got a good clean connection for the solder. Um, and then you're going to tw take both wires, take both copper wires for the grounds, twist them together, and they're going to go on the big portion of the ear tab that has uh, a hole through it, the main note, the main length of the body, that's where your ground is going to, your two grounds are going to solder in, and then there's going to be two smaller tabs um, further up that stick off a left and a right, and that's where your, uh, your positive wires, your white and your uh, red, um, are going to connect. And those, uh, you make sure when you solder it, you don't want any, uh, you don't want any solder touching between the two, the left and the right, or between the right and the ground, or the left and the ground. You want every solder joint to be, uh, to stay apart. And if you have to, you can take a little bit of uh, electrical tape and slip it in between the solder joints just to kind of keep them spaced apart. Okay, this is just a quick dry erase board drawing of what I've done. Um, in the green is uh, noted as your two bare copper wires um, that were stranded all a bunch of strands uh, they're, they're your grounds and they're located there on the, as the green um, you want to twist those both together and then slip them through that big hole uh, on the main uh, ground lug there that has two ear tabs sticking off of it and that's just crimping down on your outer black uh, insulator wires um, solder those there. Uh, left and right, I'm not sure which one's which. Doesn't, I don't think it doesn't really matter um, for for this purpose. Um, I've just shown one of the. Say your red is going to be your red insulated wire. Um, you know, like I said, you want to strip a little bit of that back and then just solder that uh, nice clean uh, solder joint there. You don't need a lot of solder. Just make sure it's a clean joint. Um, you can tin the wire if you know what I'm talking about there. Um, then you would take, in, in my case, you would take the white wire and that would just represent your left. Um, and then you would solder it to that other ear lug um, that sticks off the main body of that. And when you solder them, uh, make sure no residual solder um, dangles or comes anywhere near uh, the ground because if it does, it'll just short the speaker out and then you won't have any audio out of that speaker. Uh, if you do have this the problem where you're only getting one speaker, uh, slide your tube casing back off that audio jack and double check to make sure that it's not touching or that it's anywhere near very close. Um, use electrical tape if you have to. Slip a piece of electrical tape in between um, the ground terminal and the two solder uh, terminals, uh, blue and red. Um, you can slip a little bit of electrical tape in there. 
you know, to, to keep them isolated if you have to. Um, I bought this connector in from Radio Shack. Uh, the part number was 274-1547. It was called an 8th inch stereo phone plug, uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Um, they call them TRS. It has two insulators and three pieces. Um, it would be a TRS plug also if you... Uh, uh, by another name, and this is again off of a Boss ATV 20 tube uh, radio. Uh, very popular tube that a lot of people are using on the front of their four wheeler ATVs, utility vehicles, boats. Um, great radio. Uh, just had a little accident here with mine, and uh, the cable fell off and hit the exhaust and melted, so we had to solder a new plug on the end of it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, uh, just leave them in the comment box and I'll try my best to uh, get back to you on it. Thanks.